What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today, we're back with some more NCAA 06 on the PS2. We have a brand new dynasty. This is Georgia Southern. And no, this is not going to turn out like Grambling State. This is not going to turn out like some other dynasties we tried where we're not that good. And then all of a sudden, we get smacked. We lose our job. And the dynasty is over. We're, we're not playing that this time around. Now, we got some guys that transferred in. We have a tight end that transferred in from the University of Georgia Tech. We have some quarterbacks who are great athletes. They just need to polish their game as far as throwing the football, but I think we're going to be A-OK. -okay. We also have the coach's son on the roster as well, and maybe a controversy at the running back spot. We're going to see how everything pans out. Now, first things first, we got to look at our safety position. Michael Peters at free safety, he comes in from Laney College, so he is a junior after playing two years of junior college football. He is your prototypical free safety, good ball hawking skills, a decent tackler, and he can track the ball with the best of them. If we're looking for a big hit at the safety spot guy, look for his twin brother, number 27, Kyle Peters. Kyle Peters is that thumper. Matter of fact, he's so much of a thumper that he broke his forearm halfway through the season last year, and that's one of the reasons why these two guys are playing here at Georgia Southern instead of maybe a more prestigious university. Kyle Peters got into some off the field issues that led them to play junior college ball. They always wanted to play football together in college and in high school. They obviously did that and now they want to do it in college and that's why they were both at Laney College. And now they both find themselves here even though they're very, very talented and probably could be and should be at a top program around the nation. Same is true with Sharp Dawkins. He was the number two inside linebacker recruit. But he sat out the season because he was supposed to go to USC under the uh, tutelage of his dad, who's a defensive coordinator. But he was ended up let go due to some type of technicalities. And now he's the head coach here at Georgia Southern and his son followed suit. So he's coming in as a 20-year-old freshman, believe it or not. James Cox, number seven, he's been in college football for three seasons now. This is his last chance to do some of this college football career. He's going to have some competition, though, because Will Hill, 26, who's a freshman, is a little bit more explosive. And I do mean a little bit. They are both very, very explosive. But sometimes people just want to see that new incoming freshman to ball out, especially when you've had an old head around. He, he was that old Miss talking about James Cox behind two future NFL caliber running backs. Naismith at tight end. He had some family issues. He had to step away from Georgia Tech. Had to try to support his family. Or Obviously, this is before the NL deals and all that other stuff. But now he wants to give college football another chance. So he's here at Georgia Southern trying to make that happen. Then Zeke Davenport, one of the fastest high school players ever. Coming out of Florida, he can run but he can't run to the classroom fast enough. He does not like school like that, but he understands that in college or in football, you got to go to the colleges and then try to get to the pro game. And then we got Jonathan Cade. He is faster than fast. He has a strong arm. He is pretty accurate, but the accuracy can be a little bit hit or miss. And he's undersized. He's more of that Russell Wilson, Drew Brees, Colt McCoy body type. And some people feel like that doesn't work. So now let's get into the head coach. Anthony Dawkins was the defensive coordinator at USC. And now he's the head man here. You don't really see too many defensive coordinators getting that head coaching job now. It does still happen. But most people are looking for that quarterback guru, that offensive specialist. Spread everything out. We do not do that here. It's going to be more of a run focus offense. Our two impact players on offense are our running backs and James Cox and then Will Hill. So we're going to see what happens there. As far as recruiting goes this first season, we're going at the team leads. We need fullback. We need tight end. We need outside linebacker. Our first game, Tennessee Chattanooga, their main, then Sam Houston State, Nevada. And then we got Southeastern, Portland State, Temple. Then we get another bye, then Utah State, Appalachian State, UMass, Middle Tennessee State. Another bye, and then we finish up the year versus Hawaii. So we should be darn good. 
Again, Sharp Dawkins is the highest overall player on the team. He is in the size. Everything about him is top notch. He has a great mind for the game. He can read things. He's a student of the game, if you will. He can run for days. Patrick Willis type speed, but he is a little bit undersized. More of a strong safety build. Maybe outside linebacker in a 4-3 scheme than an inside thumper. But hey, it is what it is. So Cade, gonna get loose. And Jonathan Cade, he can do this all day. Gonna get loose and run that thing like he might. Michael Vick or somebody. Now he's going to roll to the left side, throws it. That pass caught by Walker and Phil Walker down inside the five with a first down. Now it's going to be first and goal running that option. That's exactly what we want to see. Tennessee Chattanooga could be in all kinds of trouble. All kinds. 7 nothing is the score. Looking downfield, that pass will be caught, and that's going to be a first down. So Chattanooga not going down without a fight. Third down and five. They're going to get away from the penetration and work their way upfield for another first down. Play fake, and yeah, those heaters are coming. Buchanan, cornerback off of the edge, laying the lumber. We're going to send a blitz again. We hit the quarterback again. That pass will be caught. Fumble is going to be recovered by Kyle Heaters. So a great job by this defense to bend, but don't break. And we got this thing on back the other way. Okay, looking downfield. He's going to roll left. Still rolling. Looking for Walker again. Makes the catch. Makes one guy miss. He's off to the races. 30, 20, 10, 5. Give him 6. Touchdown for those Eagles of Georgia Southern. And then there goes Michael Peters. He's going to get his hands on the football via the interception. And we got this thing just outside the red zone. Cox, he gets the carry. Cox breaking ankles and breaking hearts as he works his way to the 15-yard line. K going to roll right. Looking to the back of the end zone, Zeke Davenport makes the catch, and that's going to be his first touchdown in college football. We were to take over because our defense decided to beast on that last three and out, and we get the ball to Taylor, who's our second receiver, who's making the catch right there for a first down. Third down and ten. Naismith is in the end zone. Touchdown. And we are taking numbers, and we are just, we're not even taking numbers or taking names. We're just taking hearts right now. That pass caught, and that's going to be a first down. So Chattanooga, they're on the move. Sharp Dawkins forces a bad pass, and Jones is there. Who? Mike Jones with the interception. So he forced the fumble, and then Mike Jones gets the interception right there. Sharp Dawkins obviously had the pressure. And there goes James Cox. He's loose. Nighty night. Nighty night. Touchdown. And Georgia Southern, absolutely beast in the feast. The 35 to nothing. Direct snap, no. Sharp Dawkins, absolute going out there. Third down and 12, they're going to run that thing up. That got nothing doing. N nothing doing at all. And we're going to take over. Second down and two. K going to roll right. K going to let that thing fly. There goes Walker. Spin move. He has all kinds of speed. He got that get away from the cop speed. And it's a touchdown right there. 42 nothing. So they throw it over the middle, and Harris is there with the decision with no time left on the clock to end the first half. Makes one guy miss. Can he score before the half is up? Not quite. We, we, we were going to win this game 49-14 to for our first win of the season. Jonathan Cade, 9 of 15, 255, four touchdowns. James Cox, a buck 88 and two touchdowns. Cade also ran for a touchdown as well. And then Will Hill, not the best game. He's a sophomore, excuse me. I said he was a freshman. He's a sophomore. He was a redshirt freshman last year. Zeke Davenport, see his numbers right there. Blake Naismith, one catch, one touchdown, 31 yards. Not a bad debut for our guys. Mike Jones had an interception. Also led the team in tackles, tackles for loss. You got Bush up in there, where it's 88. Old school college football with defensive ends wear tight end numbers. It is what it is. I love it. I love it. You do too. Buchanan had a pick. Peters had a pick. Jones had a pick. It was just a phenomenal day. Now we're going to be taking on Maine. Their best player is a defensive end at 82 overall. So first down, 10 yards to go. We're going to go with the fullback dive, and Nichols is going to get busy. Like we said, this team is going to value the running back. We're going to value the ground game. We have a defensive-minded head coach, so we want to play keep away sometimes. But again, we do have some explosiveness on the outside, so we'll open things up. K looking downfield. K going to fire that thing. That pass caught, and that's going to be... Not quite a touchdown, but a big time play right there. First and goal. Okay, you can run that option. Another touchdown run for our speedy quarterback. And there you go. All kinds of fast, all kinds of track stars up on the field. They run the ball. They're going to go nowhere fast as Smith is there for the takedown. And that's going to stop him on fourth down. Kagan going to look downfield. Throws it. Walker in the slot. Absolutely 
scary for any defense. And he's going to take this one 20 10 5 all the way to the crib. Touchdown in Georgia Southern continues to impress. James Cox gets the carry. Get off me, he says. And then look at the speed. Like I said, Will Hill's just a tad bit more explosive. But this guy, looking like Toby Gerhardt from back in the day, he's a little bit quicker than Toby was. Looking downfield is Kane. Kane going to set his feet. Throws it deep to Zeke. Zeke gets his hands on the football and watch out. That speed is stupid. 10 5 touchdown just walking into the end zone and now will hill's like let me get let me get my chance let me shine though and will hill beasting inside the 20 gets all the way down inside the 10. so okay from the six gonna roll right gonna look for blake naismith who makes the catch touchdown for the once yellow jacket one time yellow jacket i should say k looking downfield throws it deep naismith has a step and he's gonna haul it in and we get down to the 11 yard line so Kay's going to hand it off to Cox. Cox to the 10, to the 5. Bully ball inside the end zone. He goes, and it's 42 to 3 to end the first half. Play fake now. They got their backup quarterback in. Their starting quarterback has a dislocated elbow as we get to Yahoo Zayher right there. And he's going to be out for about 12 weeks, so basically the whole season. We're going to run that thing with him. Hill's loose. Hill to the 50. Hill to the 40. And he's going to just continue to chuck those legs and continue to milk this clock as well. We got our backups in, as you can see. And Will Hill is gone. Get out of here. 49 to 3 is the score. They fire that thing over the middle. It's tipped and then picked again. Bauer has another one. And he gets rocked. The ball comes loose, but that's A OK. -OK. Now he's going to run that option with Jones at quarterback and then get it to Hill. Hill going to split the defense like Kobe. He's going to take that thing to the crib. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. But Maine will get, you know, some get back just a little bit. And there you go. They're going to run into the ref. Slow down just a little bit. But the speed will show out on that play. And again, we have our backups in. So that means we have our backup backups in on special teams is what it is. Stewart on the kicker turn is like, anything you could do, I can do better, my friend. Georgia Southern speed, just, just from top to bottom, is different. Touchdown. There you go. And that is going to do it. We start the year off two. And oh, and it's going to be that way. All right. We're going to beat up on these smaller programs get our feet wet and then take on some of the bigger programs but just slightly you know what i mean we're gonna go from playing maine to maybe playing like a syracuse playing maine to playing like a a, a, a yukon and no disrespect to those teams those teams just aren't great teams you know what i'm saying we want to be great we want to get to ball games we want to do our thug fizzle and i think we have started off pretty pretty well these guys right here with the, your zeke davenports your blake naismiths your sharp dawkins these guys are going to be leading the way for us for years to come and hopefully we can have a great dynasty here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope that you guys are excited for it. Please let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. But I'm going to get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. And until you meet again, my friends, peace, love, hustles.